Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crypto News. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, coin prices and where they could potentially go. Also, side note, uh, in the future, this might not seem like a big deal, but today, Bitcoin all-time high, I think it went to like 4100 Probably going to be 5000 by next month. Looks like Tim Draper's right. It's going to be 10k by next year. Um, I've always said that it's going to be 10000 by 2020. Dead wrong. It's going to get to 10000 way, way before 2020. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about a conversation that I had with a friend of mine. Um, what happened was uh, three or four of us were sitting down. We're talking about crypto like crypto nerds tend to do. I'm talking about what our favorite coin is, what you should invest in, and one of my friends is a big fan of Ripple. So, you know, interbank settlement, right? Number three in the market cap right now. I was a big fan of Ripple. And what he said to me was, Ripple is eventually going to get to Ethereum prices. And I'm like, you mean Ethereum's market cap? And he said, no, one Ripple, which is currently at the moment 17 cents, is gonna get to Ethereum price, which at the moment is 300. I think at that time when we spoke about it, it was about 200-ish. Um, and he thinks that it can get to Ethereum price. And I'm like, no man, it's not mathematically possible because of the uh, circulating supply. And I realized that this is sometimes uh, pretty common. I actually get this, not just from this friend of mine, some of my other friends as well, they look at a coin like, uh, Ripple or NEM and they think that it could potentially get to like $100 per coin for example uh, I am going to do some math for you guys and show you how that is technically not possible in the short term So we're gonna make a couple of assumptions. All right. One is uh, Bitcoin is gonna get to a hundred billion, which is not too far away Ethereum is eventually going to get to 50 billion and all these other altcoins that are above a billion is going to get to Ethereum's market cap and all the other coins are eventually going to get to the 1 billion market cap. So that's some of the assumptions we're going to make and we're going to see in the short term at least uh, what the price of these coins could be. Okay, so very easy to calculate. All you got to do is just copy all of this. We're going to go to an Excel sheet and here we are going to just paste the info. All right. Uh, we don't want the 24-hour volume, what's the, the date and all of that. So uh, how do you get the coin price? The coin price is basically the market cap divided by the circulating supply, okay? So if you have this equals to this divided by this, you will get whatever the price of the coin is. So let's change just the number, all right. So you can see it's accurate. So this is the price of the coin, all right? So if we drag this down, you'll see that it matches. So this is how you get the price of the coin. Okay, so uh, we can actually manipulate it and we can actually see um, what the price could be if it gets to certain types of market cap. So 100 billion, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is 100 billion, all right? Divided by the circulating supply. So let's assume the circulating supply kind of stays the same. Okay, so this is, um, this is what the price could actually be. Let's change this to currency, all right. So this is what the price could potentially be if it gets to 100 billion, all right? And let's extend this. So if it gets to 100 billion, these are realistic prices for the top 10 cryptocurrency. Let's say, for example, all of these coins get to Ethereum's market cap. So this would be 30 billion. So 30, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, divided by the circulating supply, all right. Okay, so if these coins get to 30 billion market cap, um, this is where it could potentially be. So I believe this is a more realistic short-term target for the uh, number three up to number 10 coin. Uh, this is a realistic short-term target. So you're looking at like Ripple getting the 78 cents. Pretty good already, more than Ethereum's current market cap. So no, if Ripple can't get to $100 per coin mathematically, uh, not in the short term at least, it, this is not possible. Uh, I have some doubts about Bitcoin Cash, whether it has any long-term uh, usage. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, this is where it could actually potentially go. Uh, and just for fun, let's look at uh, some of the other coins as well. So I am just going to copy the top 60 coins. We just go ahead and copy all of this up to 11 at copy and go to the Excel sheet and we are just going to paste it. All right. So uh, I don't want any of this information here. So I'm just going to highlight all of this and delete. 
and I'm gonna delete all of this so uh, we're gonna come back after I delete all of this okay guys so I've removed all of that and uh, let's say we continue with this formula so you'll actually see that it's accurate so you can see that the uh, the price here actually matches all of the prices here okay so this is how you get the coin price which is basically market cap divided by circulating supply okay so let's say that all of these coins for example they get to uh, dash's market cap which is currently a hundred and uh, 1.5 billion so one five zero zero one two three one two three uh, let's let's go actually top 30 coins 1.5 billion and then after that I'll do 1 billion because that's probably a closer uh, a closer realistic target for these coins um, so this is going to be equal to this divided by the circulating supply all right short-term targets for these coins let's say we go up to number 30 uh, this will be the price just color this a little bit so that uh, you know that this is different yeah, so short-term target for these coins uh, would be this price. Let's insert, insert here. Okay, for these other coins, uh, I think a more realistic target would probably be one billion. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is already pretty good because one billion basically means at least times five based on all of these. Uh, let's say uh, 30 all the way up to like about 45 and then let's like insert another one here and let's say this is 500 uh, million one two three one two three all right okay so you can see based on these calculations um, what are the short-term targets so Monero short-term target $100 right now it's 48 if it gets to 1.5 billion it's just gonna double its market cap uh, EOS uh, all these coins that are not yet listed on Poloniex, like NEO. NEO is not yet listed on Poloniex. Uh, highlight this a little bit. Um, there are some other coins as well. I don't think 10X is listed on Poloniex as well. EOS is not listed on Poloniex. Um, so uh, some of these coins, I'm sure there are some other coins here as well. Uh, Tether is going to be an exception. So it's never going to go up in price. This is just going to be $1. Okay, let's, let's adjust this. Okay, so Tether is an exception, exception to the rule, because Tether is tied to the US dollar. So yeah, it's always gonna just be $1. Um, so obviously these calculations aren't completely accurate um, because the supply is obviously going to go up as time goes on. As the market cap grows, the, the uh, supply is also gonna go up. Um, but uh, this is pretty close, I think. Um, some of these coins not yet listed on Poloniex, when they get listed, uh, you'll see that they will go up in price. Um, and uh, yeah, NEO, I think, actually has a lot of potential to go even higher. Getting to Ethereum's market cap for NEO is very realistic, I think. Uh, since uh, Ethereum's market cap is 30 billion listed on Poloniex, NEO is, uh, if it gets to Ethereum's market cap, it's going to be 600 per coin, which is nuts. $600 per NEO. Uh, you might want to consider buying some. Uh, EOS 10X are still tokens when they actually um, become the actual coin they should go up in price as well uh, there's some other ones here who are also uh, still tokens as well I'm not quite sure all of them okay Civic I know is a token um, also not listed on Poloniex yet I believe uh, and some other ones here as well Pivx is not yet listed on Poloniex I kind of like Pivx as well um, I think that it has some potential to go far uh, the team behind it is pretty good. Every time you look at a, a coin, look at the team behind it and see, and that should kind of give you a clue as to how far uh, that particular coin could get to. So short-term target, uh, I think PIVX getting to $9 uh, is realistic because that would be like um, 500 million, half a billion market cap, five times of whatever it is now. I think that's very realistic. Um, and this is basically how you can roughly calculate uh, what the prices of these coins could get. Please frame the video and see uh, what the predictions are for the short term. And from here, you kind of need to do a little bit of research to find out uh, which coin is has some potential, not yet listed on Poloniex, has a good team behind it, has solved some real world issues. Um, like uh, for example, Golem solved some real world issues with uh, processing power. Um, see a coin real world issues it solves with um, uh, its ability to do cloud storage a uh, basic attention token of, of, of course still a token uh, yeah and I don't think it's listed on Poloniex as well 
it's not really possible for certain coins to get to certain astronomical prices, but it's very possible for some other coins. You just need to do the math and you can find out. All right, so if you like this uh, video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments which is your favorite coin. Where do you think the market cap is going to get to? Uh, why do you think that coin is going to get to that market cap? And uh, we'll have a discussion in the comment section, all right? So until next time, ciao.